is up guys, this is Juno Beats. In this video, we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to make these violent, aggressive, rage-inducing metal mosh pit type beats like Filthy in FL Studio. So the inspiration behind these kind of beats, like which actually made me jump on FL Studio and make this, you got 1017A Leaks, you got Glock 19, 55 5 Lifestyle Homicide Gang, and 12 Ounces by Warhol. Man, like all those are super aggressive and like, dude, they just, you know, speak to my soul, man. Those are my favorite. Anyway, here's another preview of the beat and we'll jump right into it. All right, so as far as the arrangement goes, you got your melodies up top, you got some brass coming in, you got some sound effects, and then the rest of these are going to be your drums. Let's just start with the melodies. Here's what we got all together. Okay, for the first plugin, we're using Serum, the LD Serum of God preset. This is one of my favorites, dude. It sounds almost like heavy metal-ish. Quick tip, when you're using this, look at the oscillator B and turn down the level just a little bit. This one's really gritty. It almost sounds too metal-ish, but if you want it to sound like electric and synthetic, just play with this level knob. Here's our first pattern. So it might look like a lot, but this is actually really simple. I just played this on my laptop. You can use the following keys, D, H, J, and M, at least as a starting point. Just keep it simple. Also, if you want a tip, use the letters E, U, I, and O. Those also allow you to make some really aggressive melodies. Notice that these notes go up an octave. Originally they were here, but don't be afraid to like select some random notes and hit control up. It gives it a really cool effect. So before it'd be like this. That's still cool and aggressive, but man, if you raise that up an octave, like listen to what it does. Like that, that's my favorite part when it goes up. You can feel that energy. All right, for melody number two, using Serum again. Dude, Serum is like one of the best plugins for these beats because odds are you will find a preset that matches the overall vibe of this type of beat. So for this, using the SQ Bindi Hijack, this sound gives like some synthetic digital type layering to the initial guitar. And for our last melody, you got another serum coming in. This is the PD Defiant, another great preset to use. Like it just sounds evil, dude. Like sounds like something terrible is about to happen. <laughs> and you'll notice like the brass doesn't come in too often. I just put it at the end of the chorus. This just like allows it to finish really dark and just gives it a little bit more intensity as the chorus is about to finish. Here's the transition. So you could use like the original Serum of God preset for this. You can use like a one shot, anything that just gives it that extra boost. So let's move on to some effects. All right, and in case it helps, all the sound effects, all the drums that you're about to hear, they're in the free drum kit arson. All right, first effect is called Headshot. Next, we all do this where we reverse a crash and we have the, of course, filthy Nextel chirp coming in. It's like, it's gonna fit the drop perfectly. Under the drums, man, this is my favorite part, so. All right, starting off with the snare, just using the filthy snare with a tambourine, playing this pattern. Adding another snare, and I've noticed Filthy does this in a lot of his newer beats. Um, instead of just using one snare, one clap, he'll add like different sounding snares to just have a little bit more variety. So I got the snare that we all have. And a quick tip, if you don't know how to space these out, pretend you're only using this snare. Instead of me having this exact same pattern play right here, like using this little thing, just erase this and put that exact same note with a different sounding snare. We're going to take that same principle and apply it to a clap. And on to the hi-hats. I use two different ones. Again, in the Arson drum kit, this hi-hat filthy. Basically a two-step pattern with some rolls coming in at like the beginning. And filthy doesn't usually do this, but I'm going to add another hi-hat pattern. But I just wanted to make it sound a bit more aggressive. Totally unnecessary, but you know, whatever, I did it. Got some open hats. 
Got another open hat coming in. This will basically act like a symbol. onto the kick i used a kerosene kick from the kit this is basically a rat kick that i layered with like two other fatter kicks but in essence you can just use the rat kick as well just highlight your kicks and just boost the volume all the way up and then on your master channel just add a soft clipper on to the 808 man so if you want to know the secret to these kind of 808s Get the filthy and lucrative drum kit. It's that simple. So I got bought it for 20 bucks, I think. And man, it is absolutely worth it. Like, dude, look at all the 808s that come with this. Like, dude, these 808s are, are just nasty, dude. And the one that I use the most and is my absolute favorite right now is the Orbit 808. So using that exact same Orbit 808, here's our 808 pattern. everything together. All right, and lastly for the intro, I don't know if you all have seen like Stop Breathing Live by Cardi at like a concert. That has like the craziest intro to it and it gets the crowd so hyped before the 808 in the beat actually drops. It. This is a really easy way to make your intro sound a little different than like the repetitive melody. It's really simple. You can hear it like building back up. For this, just use Fruity Love Filter. You're trying to low pass LFO. Also just cutting out some of the guitar right before the drop to build that tension. It'll make the 808 hit that much harder. You guys so much for watching this video till the very end really appreciate it if you like this you learned something you know what to do and until then i will let this thing ride out and i will catch you in the next video